Hi, it's Grace, and today we have a whole bunch of clothes, some more lights, a perfume, and chocolate, because chocolate, always. I love the uh, Swizzles, Lollipops, and Chews, though this flavour. Um, they're raspberry and vanilla chews. Sorry, I was just getting distracted with real raspberry pieces. Ooh, that's kind of exciting. Okay, so anyway, it's um, raspberry, vanilla, like chewy stuff normally, kind of like a taffy, um, and it's delicious on its own, but covered in chocolate with raspberry milk center, with real raspberry pieces. Just got more exciting. Um, this is made in Germany. Does it say much else? Not that I can actually see. Nope, nothing interesting. All right, what do you look like? Chocolate, funny about that. And can you see the raspberry stuff? Definitely looks better on the packet, but that's what it looks like close up in case you would like to know. And I'll give you a review on that in a moment. I'm going to use this time to open up the perfume and smell it. Back in a sec. It mostly just tastes like milk chocolate, but I really think that's freeze dried um, raspberry bits because they're really tart and sweet and tart and yummy was nearly a song but that's how i feel about it it's delicious it doesn't really remind me of the other candy but it's really good all right so um in a previous video where are you here that's cherry blossom by the same people mono theme uh vanilla blossom so that was on sale and all the testers were pretty crappy uh and i was wearing a mask so this one smelled all right through the mask and with a dodgy tester. We'll find out for real. Vanilla's usually not bad. Just gonna douse myself in it. Ooh. It kind of smells like really sweet, like fresh vanilla, but with like a bit of tonka. And a little bit floral. Maybe like a powdery rose in the background somewhere. Does it tell you what it's supposed to smell like? The essence of vanilla with its most sensual and unique scent is extracted from, I don't care. Oh, orchid. Not what I was expecting, obviously, but that must be the floral. This fragrance is a precious bouquet that combines elegant and deeply feminine tones, soft, warm, and sensual. It contains all the unique characteristics of this wonderful flower, fusing them with luminous fruity accents and sophisticated and enveloping woody notes. Guys, it's confusing, but accurate. It smells really good. I actually think I like it better than the other one. It does tone down, like it blends in really quick. I think that's what I'm trying to say. That's what the bottle looks like, in case you want to know that as well. It's pretty and will look absolutely beautiful over there. All right, I will open this up right now but I will insert video of it working when I get that far it's not going to be interesting to watch me fight with it but bliss lights now has yay a change color star for your tree it's got plug lovely is that the US plug don't need that USB lovely uh, so the laser bits at the top there and this has got silver edging Oh yeah, it's got Velcro bits, so you like shove it in there and then Velcro around the tree. Um, I was thinking, maybe, <laughs> if I can just stand it on something. Oh, I know, in a vase. That'll be a really good time. Star in a vase. Um, last but not least, today we have clothes. So I'll show you quick and then I will take a video of me actually trying them on. So, shock and surprise, I got some colours. Not like me. Um, we'll start with the basics. These bamboo undies, very comfortable. They are $12 for a three pack. They can go in the wash. This top, I don't like the blue, but it's cotton and it was $8 on special. So cotton can be dyed. I'm okay with that. Mm, yeah, don't know. We'll try it on. I'm pretty sure dye will make that better. And this, maybe the same treatment to be honest. White and me just don't get along. Which way do you go? Um, I should let you know, the bikini bottoms are 16. That blue top, mm, I'm not sure, 18. 
this was a 20 and it does have elastic I don't know if it's gonna to be too big for me but it was the only one they had there in stock and I was gonna order it online but I'm like oh they literally have one in a 20 I might be able to live with that it's $15 I'm just seeing if I can no it's a fake flappy just a pretty tie anyway I'll show you that in a minute and I know it's weird but I might do a test patch I have purple hair dye and you know how you like put some hair dye in water um, to dye wigs and stuff? I was like, y'all know what might be fun time. Because I have hair dye and clothes dye can be expensive. So maybe I'll just do a little test patch. It'll be fun. Um, two singlets, which I think I showed you in the last video. They're just like ribbed cotton, nearly razorbacks. Um, they were $3.75 each. And I think that is really good for a sleep tank top. The other ones I got were 18s, but once you wear them a bit, they stretch out a bit. So I thought I'd get two 16s. And last two tops. I was umming and ahhing um, about this one. It's $12, a size 20. I don't really like the buttons. I can change that. And the tie at the bottom might be cute. I don't know yet. We'll find out. I really don't like trying stuff on in the shop. I know it's weird, but I kept the receipt. I can just go exchange it for another size. Um, and this, um, was that cotton linen? Uh, viscose and nylon. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. It kind of feels similar to this one, but this one apparently is linen. So it should be nice and breathable. 55% uh, linen, 45% viscose. And it was $5.00. I didn't have anything bigger than a 16 for the five dollars so he's hoping I'm sure I think my boobs are a little bit bigger than that in something that doesn't have a stretch so we'll find out I'll give you a fashion show um, and I'll probably show you that star thing all right hopefully you can see this well enough the skirt magnificent so cute uh, but I think it is going to get a bit of a dye job because white and I just, I mean, we're not friends. It doesn't stay white for long. So maybe purple. And this top, like, I don't know. I can't get it to sit right. I think it's a little bit black here. So maybe I should go down a size. I don't know. I, I need a couple of buttons because, like, it feels a little weird. It kind of looks cute like that, I guess. But like, I don't know. The little tie down the bottom when it's like down like that isn't cute. Um, but like medium tie. Also not the cutest. I really think it has to be like one button undone. And like that. Well, maybe one more not. So I like it better like that, but I still don't know if I got it in a slightly smaller size. If it would look cuter, like with one tie, it might be like a bit smaller. I don't know. Kind of cute. This gets definitely a winner. And this top, I'm not even going to show you me in this top. Um, I need to size up. It looks, oops, hang on, I face the camera. It's really nice, it looks really good on, but it's just like a little bit small. So I might see if I can get a bigger version of that. And this is the dress I had on before. Excellent. And this top. Mm, do we need to get changed for it? Probably. And I really don't like this as much as I thought I would either. I obviously need to make that a little, mm. Looser? Is looser going to help its coppers? <sighs> I don't know. I can always try. Oh no, it's sewn. That is for decorative purposes only. Yeah, like, <clears throat> I don't know, that's just not very comfortable. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't even know if sizing up is going to fix that or if it's going to make it weirder. Hmm. That one might be going back too. Maybe. I only had one success today. But it's really cute. Um, those other tops. 
I'll work on it. I might go back and see if they had other sizes. I don't think they did with this one. Could be wrong with that too. I don't even know where the change rooms are in that place anymore. Do they have change rooms? Probably not. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully with some better news. That uh, star lamp. Oh, hopefully I can show you. That silly thing. It doesn't laser. It's quite disappointing. Like It looks pretty, but it doesn't laser. And so I have to pack it up and send it back. And then I get a refund. I kind of want to buy another one, but um, I don't know. Maybe I should just use that $35 towards um, one of the other lights that I want. I don't know. I kind of like the star, though. Okay, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.